أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم النبيين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شيخ عبد القادر جيلاني was abducted by jinn Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani was, uh, is known to be a great scholar of Islam. He used to worship and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot. So much that even he didn't forget the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the, in the times being of losses and gains. So it is said that once uh, his servant came to me, to, came, came to him in the morning and told him that uh, his ship of business sank. The ship which, uh, which went on his business trip sank. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani uh, remained silent for a moment and then said, Alhamdulillah. On the same day, in the evening, the same servant came and gave him the good news that the ship that sank was not their ship. Again, uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani remained silent and then said, Alhamdulillah. The servant asked him, how come that you say Alhamdulillah in both type of circumstances. Normally, when a loss happens, we say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. When some good thing comes to us, we, we say, Alhamdulillah. But you said, Alhamdulillah, in both of the circumstances. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani replied, Actually, I didn't say Alhamdulillah because of the ship that it sank or it was uh, not our ship which sank. Rather I said Alhamdulillah because when I got that bad news I looked at my heart I saw it was remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously so I said Alhamdulillah because people, they forget the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the time of harm and losses. But I was remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so I said, Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this reason, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enabled me to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even after hearing that news about the loss. In the evening, again, when you told me that it was not our ship which sank, it was a good news, I looked towards my heart. It was continuously remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Alhamdulillah, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made me such that I did not forget Allah's remembrance uh, at the time of pleasure. Uh, it is said that once uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani killed a, a snake. The snake was a jinn. Uh, you may be knowing that jinn, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them the capability to change their shape. They can change their shape into any shape, but if they change their shape into the shape of snake, then they cannot come back to their normal shape. Uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir, Qadir Jilani killed a snake and he didn't know it was a jinn. The jinns abducted him and took him to their country. They belong to a Muslim kingdom. Their law was the Islamic law. So he was presented in the court 
and the judge passed the sentence of death on him because he had killed a jinn. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani said that near him was sitting a very old jinn. Also, it is said that jinn have very long lives. The very old jinn said that once he was sitting in the company of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, and one of the companions said that if a jinn changes his shape to the shape of snake, then it is like he or she committed suicide because jinn is the enemy uh, because snake is the enemy of uh, human beings and human beings may kill the snake and then this jinn will be responsible for his or her death so the old jinn said and he was from tabi'in because he was sitting, he, he, he used to sit in the company of uh, companions of the Prophet Those people who uh, used to sit in the company of Muhammad وسلم, those Muslims, they got the, the level of uh, companions. And those who used to sit in the company of companions, they were called Tabi'een. And the one who would sit in the company of Tabi'in would be Tabi Tabi. And therefore, uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani became Tabi Tabi because he got the company of a Tabi. So, uh, as this Tabi, this jinn, the old jinn, told the judge that the Sahaba, the, com the companion of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam had give, give had given this news that if a jinn changes to the shape of a snake then the jinn commits suicide because snake is the enemy of human beings so the human beings may kill it and if it is killed then it is itself responsible for its death so the judge then freed Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani and those jinn brought him back to his place, his country. Uh, for us there is a, a lesson in this story and I think this story may be, may be true story because about the jinn this saying is true. Also uh, we usually hear once my own friend she said to me that there is a, a ziyara, a shrine. Uh, the shrine was not there, but in the house, in a part of the house, it was known that there was a shrine of a shaheed, a martyr. So she told me that every Thursday night, a snake comes out and it doesn't say anything to anyone. It doesn't harm anyone. I was small at that, that time, I was uh, a student of grade 7 and I did, didn't know this fact about the jinn but I was surprised and I started preaching to my friend trying to make her understand that the jinn is not wali uh, sorry, that the snake is not wali it is a snake and it must be killed as I noticed that she had respect for that snake, they thought that perhaps it was the wali or it was Nauzubillah the Shaheed. I see Nauzubillah, Nauzubillah, Nauzubillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from such uh, fates. Also, uh, one of my uncles uh, told me about a shrine that near that shrine there are many white type of uh, snakes. They are many and they are very harmless. They don't say anything to any person. I think that these snakes must be the transgressor jinns. 
like set and jinn. And due to transgression, when they change their shape to snake form, and then they cannot come back into their normal shape, then they start making human beings astray by going to the living near the shrines and coming out uh, on Thursday nights. So, oh mankind, oh mankind, especially the Muslims, you must understand, no matter if a person is shaheed or wali, the person has gone, cannot come back in this world. Don't think, think that their spirits, their souls, they come on Thursday night. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the shaheed, the shuhada, they are alive, they are eating and drinking with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They live there. Where they live, we don't know. They cannot come to us. We cannot see them. And they will never, never, they will never be able to come in the, in, the, in the form of a snake. And also the Hindus, the Mushrikeen, they worship snake also. So all these points are shirk, polytheism, idolatry. And a mushrik, anyone who committed shirk will never go to paradise. If he repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and discarded shirk and became a, mohad, a, a Muslim, became a Muslim who believes in the absolute oneness of God and followed the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, will forgive him. But that is in this life, even before he is certain is he sure that the death has come to him? Because once a person becomes sure that the death has come to him, then no tawbah, no repentance is accepted. No iman is accepted. So, we must protect ourselves from all type of shirk. And therefore, we also must pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, protect us from shirk even from very, very minute type of shirk. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had told the companions that shirk comes towards us like a very small black ant which moves slowly on a, on a black rock in the darkness of the night. The companions were surprised how can we protect ourselves from such a shirk and the Prophet وسلم, said that you must uh, say every day three times Allahumma inni a'uzubika minnan ushrika bika shayam wa ana a'lamu bihi wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lamu bihi Allahumma inni a'uzubika minnan ushrika bika shayam wa ana a'lamu bihi wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lamu bihi Allahumma inni a'uzu bika min an ushrika bika shay'an wa ana a'lamu bihi wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lamu bihi The meaning of this is that, Ya Allah, I seek refuge with you from, from a shirk which I uh, commit and I know it. I, I, I seek refuge from that type of shirk which a person commits on purpose. And I say astaghfirullah on the shirk which I commit unknowingly, which is committed unknowingly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So we must also read this dua every day, three times. And this protects us from such a shirk like a person says, for example, thieves came to his house and uh, there was a dog and the barking of the dog made them awake and alert and so the thieves ran away and then they said if the dog was not here uh, the thieves would have been succeeded so they committed a shirk may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us actually the dog became the suburb the cause but actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected them remember that no harm 
can touch us except by the will of Allah and no good can come to us except by the will of Allah. So there will be reasons for it but actually the things are decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we must remember this and we must always seek the refuge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from any type of shirk. Similarly if there were ducks and their sounds made those people uh, alert about the thieves and they say oh if the ducks were not here then we would be robbed and the uh, the theft would be, be made no actually this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who protected them from this uh, from this uh, from the thieves but the cause was the ducks allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them the cause to protect them from the thieves وما علينا إلا البلاغ سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد